I'm John Wood. I'm Paul Harrison. And we're in our studio in Bristol. I guess you could describe it as being a very nice workshop in a very cheap TV studio. That would be the, it's a very kind of basic uh, space. And uh, we've been here, in here about five years, six years. Ten. Ten years? Yeah. Ten years. We kind of see it as a big garden shed where we come and potter about. All our videos are shot in here, construct different sets and, adapt, and, and change it and adapt it to whatever the video that we're shooting at that time is. When we began, it always had uh, one or both of us doing some kind of performative action that was often to do with the, the architectural space that we were in. And it first began much more geometrically, uh, using sort of objects that we'd built uh, around the human figure and what boxes you could fit in or what happens if you stood on a semicircle and things like that to then how a person interacts with an object it may be in a different way whether it's a plank of wood or, or a chair hitting you. The work in the Tate collection is called 26 Drawing and Falling Things which we finished in 2001 and it's a series of 26 videos based on the human figure interacting with uh, everyday objects. Or architectural spaces. One of them was shot in the back of a van. It was us two sat on two office chairs. We built out the back of the van so it looks like a kind of cube space. We slide around in it and sort of crash and bang into the walls. We, we did it across Bristol in the kind of, you know, everyday traffic. Uh, which, which turned out to be a slightly um, suicidal. And we thought of it, first of all, it was, re it was hysterically funny for us. And we'd spent, we just kept laughing and unable to keep straight faces because it was such a weird sensation to be sliding around in a vehicle as it was moving. Until uh, a bus pulled out on us and we, uh, I sort of smashed my um, head and neck as I sort of flew down, <laughs> flew down the van. <laughs> but, um, after that, it became not fun to shoot it at all, and it was just like, let's just get it really quick and get out of here. We are always trying not to repeat ourselves. We're always trying to push either how stripped down that we can make something that it's still watchable, or how densely we can push the ideas into like one piece of work. Pretty much all of them start with um, with a drawing or a series of drawings. So there's this kind of whole um, editing process of deciding what the overall structure of the video will be and what goes in it and what doesn't go in it. So there's this whole kind of filtering process through drawings. The filming process will take us a long time to either through getting a take that we're happy with uh, or getting a take that actually works. Um, and at that stage it's very often slightly like an ordeal trying to get it right. <laughs> 